Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxanne. Um, thank you for joining me today. Today I am going to um, unbox my February Ipsy. Yep, I got Feb my February Ipsy yesterday. Um, <laughs> and I had already released a video, so I thought I'd wait for today. I did open it up, but I did check to make sure everything was in there, and of course not everything was in there, so... Um, we're going to go through with what I got, what was uh, my pick, and my add-ons, and then we're going to do a full phase. Okay, so um, my pick was the uh, Pixie in the Dark Pond. Okay, guys, I should never open anything on camera because, yeah. Okay, so there it is there. That does not look purple to me. That looks brown, but I'm going to give it a try with my other items. Um, okay, so the next item I got was the Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream in 7 mils. This is super cute. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use it because I do have a few eye creams on the go. I'm like literally using three of them at the moment. So, yeah. Okay, so the next item I got was the Mai Blush. Now, I do have lots of blushes, but I'll, I'll give this one a try today and let you guys know how it works and if I like it. Um, oh, this kind of got like a... Okay, that one's not... Okay. So, um, the next item I got were the Creme Shops. Watermelon Kombucha Fusion Sheets of Benefits of 2M1 Mask in the Coconut Chia. And of course, I just kind of... Oh, okay. So, um... I'll probably do one tonight. I'm going to have a... Yeah, I'll do one tonight. I was going to do one now, but I really just don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm not, like, I have no, no. Yeah. No patience for anything today. So I also got the Pure and Perfect Cleansing Oil. This is obviously a K-Beauty item. Uh, it's from Huang Jiaozhou. Jehovah Oil, Olive Oil, Natural and Organic. So I'm not, exact, again, sure if I will give this a try. I might actually just throw it in my... Um, my uh, giveaways, which um, I do will um, announce at the end of this video. Okay, so those are the five items I got. So the masks are definitely hit. So since I picked this, I do like it. Um, it is a little bit darker than I thought. Um, this is nice, I'm not gonna lie, it's just that I have enough. And this is actually made in Britain. Two made with over 50% post-consumer pl recycled plastic. Oh, okay, well, okay, that's interesting. Um, this kind of seems like a filler item, but I don't know, maybe I'll give it a try and let you guys know in the blush. So I just redeemed something in the points for a blush so I just I don't know like okay so let's see here so the deluxe sample is valued at $30 for a full size and that's 15 mils and this is seven so that's valued around 10 to $14 I would think so okay so this is valued at $12 so right here basically paid for the bag I know that these are available here in Canada which is nice and it is full size okay so then the deluxe sample of the blush is valued at two full size is 29 at 29 16 grams and this is 1.6 grams so that's like $2.90. <laughs> I 
that was easy. This is like 10% of, of it. Okay, so I mean, this is a perfect size. This is something I would take with me traveling and it does go in the bag perfectly. Okay, so the Creme Shop Duo Mask, they're valued at $3 per mask. I do see a lot of people value, um, putting these up for sale for like about five, $5 each. Um, they are $3 per mask, so that's $6. So I mean, that's like that's a good price for a mask um i think that roughly translates into i think it's three dollars and sixty cents i think that's what i got back canadian okay so then this here the full size is 30 mils and that's valued at 32 dollars. so it's almost a dollar a mil and this so it is, says here that they're supposed to be valued at 50 dollars so if that's true Yeah, I don't think, unless this is valued at $30. Yeah. I will have to, I'll have to look into that. Okay, guys. So my add-ons, um, I'm going to put the bag there because I do like the bag. Okay, so the first, one of the things I did get um, was the Kish the satin scrunchie. I believe these are two can be used day or night, which is really nice. There's supposed to be five of them. One, two, three. Okay, there is five, and I got one in my hair actually right now. There, it is there. I do like them. Um, I think they're super cute. Um, so that's the first thing I bought. So I did buy two brushes. I only got one. So I got the Farrah um, flat foundation brush. So I'm going to give that a try. That's why I didn't put any foundation on. I also got the Morph uh, lashes in Delta. So I might give those a try today. Just it depends. I'm really sore. So we'll see how the end of the... Uh, um, Yeah, I'm sore and I'm tired. I slept last night, but I did not sleep at all. So I also got this Violet Voss Pinky Promise. So we're going to put that on as well. Um, I'll go through the steps with you and then I'm going to do um, a review at the end. So this video is going to be longer. Um, so yeah, I just realized that I have this stuff. So I need to go upstairs. It's well, okay, so I'm going to put those two items over here because I'm not going to use them. I already used eye cream today. So, oh, I think I'm actually, so I have this and I haven't tried this primer yet. So let's try this primer and we're going to try this with the flat brush. Um, and then I could just like make this a full, you know, maybe a new makeup video. This is already 10 minutes and you guys are like enough okay so so this is the girler in and I do have the foundation but um, I'm going to possibly um, try these two together later on this week okay guys that is really interesting okay so I just did my like a vitamin C from Sunday Riley and then um, Oh, that feels nice. Okay, I'm gonna run out and buy it because it'll be like a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so let's try this. Somebody sent me this. A really, really, really sweet, sweet lady. So, oops. Yeah, I'm going to maybe take. You guys know I love brushes. I think they're absolutely amazing. So let's go in and see if I like the Farrah brushes. Okay, wow. It kind of soaked up a lot. But it's giving me it all back. Usually I would do my foundation last, so I'm not exactly sure why. But well, you know what, that's okay. We're going to do it this way. Okay, guys. Wow, that is, wow. So it does look a little yellow on me, but I mean, 
I'm sure setting powder would help with it. I have a nice big pimple right there. Okay, guys. I like the brush. I have to admit the brush is somewhat nice. Okay, so I am going to go in with my perfect, perfected lighting under eye from It Cosmetics. So this isn't a whole new video. So we'll just uh, put that under there. All right, sorry about that. I had to step off camera and do some things. So I do have a, an eye liner adhesive. So I can try these lashes out. So we'll do that after I do my eyelashes. Now the thing is, sorry guys. Um, I'll just do the under uh, under eye uh, underneath, obviously. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, I think I'm going to start off with wishful. I'm not going to do anything too crazy today because I do have an appointment. So I'm just going to do something nice. Wishful is a nice, nice neutral color. Oh my gosh. In with, so, there we go. There's really no, like it's all browns. So I'm going to go in with Trust Me here and see if that'll darken things up a little bit. Let's see here. Okay, so, you know, looking at this color, I didn't think it would turn out like this nice, and I do like it. So I did go a bit high on this side, so I'll probably clean that up a little bit. Like, I don't want anything more than that because I am going to physio today, and I don't need to look up, like, look all crazy, like, I know. So I am going to pop on. I'm going to use, actually, I'm going to use my UD here. I'm going to just use my beauty blender here. I'm going to go with pinkies out. Pinky Winky. I was going to go in with Everlasting, but I'll just do some swatches with you guys at the end. Okay. So I, I'm going to add a few more colors to this, but I want to do the lashes. And as you guys know, I don't do the lashes online or on video because, yeah, it's a lot. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, I have to say I really like these lashes. They went on super easy. I didn't have to fuss with them. The eyeliner is absolutely amazing, except for me. I had such issues. Like, this eye is going to be bright red tomorrow because I was, like, rubbing at it. I got this eye perfect, and then this eye was just not cooperating with me. Um, I didn't even put on mascara while I was doing that. Huh. Funny how I forgot that part. I'm gonna go in with the lash freak here on the bottom. So as you guys could probably notice, um, I did use the eyeliner on the bottom. Um, I did go in with that brown color, and then I just kind of um, highlighted out the the purple eyeliner, which is like black um with an with, what was it that color that i originally wanted in it and that was everlasting so i am gonna go in with the blush that i have here let's see Jouer champagne. Okay, so we'll just use the Kaja. Um, 
What is it here? I think this is, yeah, Sweet Sang Sangria Duo. So I did use the top color here um, to go with the uh, Joey. I think it's pink champagne, rose champagne, yeah, pink champagne shimmer. Um, this actually is a nice look. I love the lashes though. I was looking for a more natural lash to wear and this is it. So I am just going over it with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I actually kind of like the way that it is working and of course I went in with the NYX professional brow product my under eye is like so red okay okay so Okay, so the eyelashes I bought for $3. I think those were my best buy um, by far. Sorry, guys, I'll turn that off. There, now you can see it more. Hopefully a better look of it all. Um, I really like the blush, so I think the blush was one of my favorite things that was given. I do like the eye pencil, but it's almost black. Like, it does not look purple at all, but it is a great eyeliner to, to, um, to have. Um, now what was the other? Oh, well, I can't really try the mask. The hair doodads. The hair satin. Yeah. Perfect. Um, the Violet Voss Pinky Promise. It's nice, but I think I paid like almost $15 Canadian for it. And the colors aren't all that, like, great. I think um, I might do another look tomorrow and kind of use this everlasting and then maybe the secret color. Let's do um, some swatches with them here. So let's just see how they they swatch. Okay so okay so I'm gonna go with wishful first then I swear, which is really pretty, and you guys probably cannot see that. Hold on. Pinky's out. Everlasting. So there's the top. Sorry, guys. I know you're trying to see that. So I'm going to just do the whole thing, and then we'll get it all figured out. Okay, so... So there's the next line. There is some definite shimmer to these. I find that these actually apply probably better on me than the Natasha did. <laughs> Could be just me. I know there's people that swear by it, but I just never have any luck with it. Okay, so these are the last four colors here. That black is... Okay, so there's all the colors there. You can kind of see the shimmer on them all. So we have Wishful, I Swear, Pinky's Out, Everlasting, Pinky Winky, there's a Pinky Winky, Promise Me, which is a beautiful bronze shimmer, BFF and linked. Secret is a beautiful red satin. Trust me is just a matte. Forever Golden's got some chunks in it, but that could have been just the way I did it. And lock and seal. That black looks really interesting. I'm going to have to give it a, a go this week. So there is all the colors there. This one here is the pinky winky, which I do have in my eyes. It's got that beautiful golden sheen to it. And you can see it. So, yeah. 
I actually feel like I've dolled up for this event. Um, now for the foundation that somebody sent me, I can't thank you enough. It is gorgeous. And it's likely one that I will finish off for you. I should have taken a picture of that, but oh well. I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to physio today and I just don't want to forget. <laughs> okay, um, as for the brush, actually, I'm pretty, pretty impressed by it. I'm not uh, a big fan of, um, like, I like fair, but for the eye brushes, and this one I was not sure about, but I think it applied the product really, really great. It applied it even. Um, I don't see, like, the streaks, like, you know, you can get sometimes. I need to remember to put extra on my forehead because of all the creases I have. I have to admit, like, that retinol products I'm using is doing pretty good. Um, the blush is gorgeous. Like, I, I'm pretty impressed by that, too. Where's the stuff I can bash? Uh, 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 yeah. So anyway, but my bag wasn't all that great, I have to admit. It was a little kind of crappy, but um, I do like the bag itself, and I do like some of the products, and I really like that. This look, it's gorgeous. I have to announce the giveaway. Here in the corner. Wait a no, I'm gonna have to go to the side screen. That's how it does, how it works. Okay, so guys, the winner is um, YS. All for the best. Um, she didn't leave a way for me to contact her. So if she sees this, she has a week to get back to me. Um, you can contact me on Instagram or through email, which are both down below in my um, uh, description. And uh, let me know and I'll ship this prize out uh, to you. If not, guys, if she doesn't get a hold of me in uh, like one week, I will draw the name again. And it could be you.